three tips to help you get rid of that slice. First, use the correct grip. Get the correct hand rotation where the lead hand is turned on top of the golf club as you get that into that closed face position. What I mean by that, a lot of golfers will set up with their lead hand underneath in an open face position. This trail hand will be on top, you can see my right, and then they end up hitting the ball like that. That's not gonna work. We want this top hand rotated here on the golf club. The V goes up here, the bottom hand complements it. That makes it easier to rotate through and square up the golf club. Next, make sure you rotate your arms in the golf swing. Don't try to flip your hands. A lot of golfers are told, oh, flip your hands, square up the golf club. You don't want to do that. We want to rotate the arms with the trunk. So this way your lead arm will rotate in and down. That's going to help you shut the golf club, have a good solid release. It'll help get you out of this position. It'll get you more into that release position where the arms roll with the trunk and you'll square up that golf club and fire right through. And then lastly, square up your posture. Many golfers that slice, they set up over top of it like this, the right shoulder high and they're over top like that with the trail arm over top of the golf ball. We don't want that. We want to be up this way here, trail arm beneath the lead arm. So you can see my right arm's underneath my left. I'm in a good square position here. You can even draw the right foot back a little bit. That helps you turn back a, a little bit better. It makes it easier to swing on a better path from in behind for good solid contact. So the correct grip, up through here. Arms roll with the trunk, lead arm rolls down. Draw the right foot back so you have good posture. Nice little right to left draw, give that a try.